Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Uh, today we are going to study past tense, uh, part one, among English grammar rules. Past tense in general, the past simple tense or simple past tense is often just called past tense. Some people call this past simple tense or simple past tense. Or you can simply say past tense. In general, the past tense is used to talk about something that started and finished at a def uh, definite time in the past. In the past. For example, I had breakfast at 7 at 7 a.m. So had this is past tense. So it started and it's finished. And how to form the past tense? The main rule is that for every verb in English, there is only one form of it in the past tense. So to be verb is a little bit, it's an exception. So as you know, was and were, that's a past tense. This is singular, this is plural. For example, the past tense of the verb want is wanted. You can say wanted or you can say wanted. Wanted is used as the past tense for all subjects and pronouns. I wanted, I wanted, you wanted, he wanted, she wanted, it wanted, we wanted, they wanted. For example, I want present tense is i want and he wants so third person singular is going to be as ending and the rest of it just like no as ending but past tense first person second person third person singular plural just the same now past tense regular verb to change a regular verb into its past tense form, we normally add ed, and it has three sounds. We are going to study a little bit later, three sounds to the end of the verb. For example, play, play, cook, cooked, rain, rain, wait, waited. For example, the first one sounds like d, and second one sounds like t. And third one sounds like D, and the last one sounds like ED. So there are three sounds, and then we're going to study uh, this a little bit later. Now let's look at the examples of the sentence using regular verbs. Last night, which is past tense, I played my guitar loudly, and the neighbors complained. Played and complained. She kissed me on the cheek. It rained yesterday. Angela watched TV all night. John wanted to go to the museum. And remember, there are three different ways to pronounce. Uh, I already have, have told you, so we're going to study this a little bit later. Now, let's think about negative sentences in the past tense. We use did not which is the contraction of did not, to make a negative sentence in the past tense. Present, they do not, they don't live in Canada. And past tense, they did not live in Canada. So do or does is present and did is past. Do not, does not, did not. The main verb live in the example above is in its base form of the, uh, the infinitive, the auxiliary didn't shows that the sentence is negative and the past tense. Present, you don't need a mechanic. Past tense, you didn't need a mechanic. Present, you don't walk to work. Past, you didn't walk to work. Present, he doesn't speak Japanese. Past, he didn't speak Japanese. Let's take a look at examples of negative sentences in the past tense. I didn't want to go to the dentist. 
She didn't have time. You didn't close the door. He didn't come to my party. They didn't study, so they didn't pass the test. We didn't sleep well last night. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I'll come back to you with the past tense part two as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.